Hello, my name is Amanda Hunnickfort. I have nearly nine years of experience as a producer and journalist in national, local, and statewide roles. I've worked in print, radio, and television, and I have done everything from running a many-person live show on television to producing an hour-long news public affairs talk show to putting together my own stories. This is my reel. Live from the Ritz-Carlton, St. Louis, HECTV is proud to present the World Trade Center St. Louis's Growing Global Luncheon. Now, here is your host, Brenda Madden. Fashion. Beautiful, elusive, and big business. I think Evolution moving to St. Louis is a game changer. We knew we wanted production, but we did not expect something like, uh, you know, the biggest, most important high-tech knitwear facility in the world to be based in St. Louis, Missouri. John Lewis and John Omuccio, the founders of Evolution STL, have been working in fashion for decades before they decided to go into business together and take on the massive hurdles facing the fashion and apparel industry. This is Super Michael. He's one of the reasons why Tiny Superheroes exists. Design is everything, everything is design. It's everywhere, even if it's unintentional. Hi, my name is Nish Hancock. I am the co-founder of TEDx Gateway Arch, and you are joining me with Arch Fair. NGA is gonna be here, and they're gonna be opening their doors in, in 2025 to a beautiful new facility. There's gonna be stuff that's already happening in and around that. The announcement of the new NGA campus jump-started an effort from St. Louis civic, regional, and business leaders to make St. Louis a national leader and Midwestern hub for the geospatial industry. Andy Deering is leading that effort, a working group made up of industry and regional leaders called the GeoFutures Initiative. Their role was to put together a strategic plan. It's an emerging industry. It's been around many years, but it's an emerging industry, especially as you think about where businesses are going and the business advantage to location intelligence. It's coming. There's nothing you can do to stop it. It's coming um, and it'll be here before you know it. The GeoFutures plan was released in June of 2020 and has five main priorities. She was doing what I've been coaching and she's doing it without knowing that these were the terminologies associated with what she's doing. She's sourcing ethically. She is taking care of farmers at the origin level and all the way down to staff and the team and how she manages. Together with the other four women on staff, they have big heart poised to make some big changes in the industry. It all started with an oversized marigold yellow calf hair clutch. It's still to this day one of our best sellers. I, I really got into this by accident. We can all agree that the Gateway Arch is a symbol of our city. And it's just about ready to show off its shiny new look. We went down to the newly renamed Gateway Arch National Park to talk about the renovations with park ranger Rhonda Shear, the chief of museum services and interpretation at the park. You've got questions, don't you? <laughs> I think that it's going to be really trying to figure out... Great question, I'm glad you brought that up. Absolutely. No, absolutely. It's, it's a great question. Um, a few years ago, Ruben Ruel walked into a fabric store, hardly expecting it to change the course of his career. Now, that fabric is at the center of his line, Domestic by Ruben Ruel. And I saw stacks of Ankara African print fabric. Weird. This is the toughest interview I've had. <laughs> I'm telling you, I keep waiting for her to say we're done. I got nothing more to share. I'm done. <laughs> well, I was wondering 